All right, hey Duke, um, it's Jordan Allen. I'm gonna explain how the signal system works. It's just a little diagram I drew out. Um, first off, it's important to know that this kind of signal system is only needed for a quadcopter and not necessarily a fixed wing. Um, it's needed for a quadcopter because multi-rotor systems tend to be unstable by nature. So it's needed for a computer or CPU of some sort to control all four motors or however many motors you have at the same time so that you have a stable flight and yeah with a fixed wing that's not needed because the only thing a motor really does is throttle so without throttle it's basically just a glider or a paper airplane so it's pretty stable either way um, and also you need a flight controller to to kind of manipulate all four motors so that you can go forward, spin, flip, speed up, slow down, control. All four motors have to be do some, doing something individually that one single pilot wouldn't be capable of doing on his own. So that's why a CPU or flight control is needed. So first off, start off with the, the TX or the transmitter. Um, transmitter is your typical controller. You send send a signal to your quadcopter saying if you want it to go up, down, what it, whatever you want to do with it. So when you send a signal from your transmitter, it goes to the receiver, which is inside your quadcopter. So the receiver or RX, here's a top view of it and here's a side view of it so we can see all eight channels with all the pins and all that. So the receiver receives anything sent from the transmitter once it gets to the receiver, the receiver has eight channels that it can send information to the quadcopter on how it wants it to behave. Um, typically, there's about eight system, eight, eight channels. You'll need a minimum of three. That for you'll need, or sorry, you'll need a minimum of four. That for pitch, roll, yaw, and thrust. Without those four, you can't really fly. So basically, you need a minimum of four. Any additional ones, that's like for picture taking or, you know, if you if you have a kill switch hooked up to it or, you, you know, sky's the limit on this one. Um, so these channels are on the side and they're, they're made up of three row or three pins per row. Each pin is for signal for one channel, power for that channel, and then a ground. So once the receiver receives a signal, it will send what the signal was in the proper channel to a PPM encoder. Now the PPM encoder um, is connected however many number of channels you have. So if you have five channels, there's five wires connected to the receiver. So the PPM encoder will receive whatever number of channels you have, and then it will send it to the flight control. The reason you need this PPM encoder is because the flight controller only has one input, the RC in. So you need the PPM encoder to take all these channels and put it into a single channel or single pipe as you put it in your video and send it to the flight control. Once the flight control has it, it can then send the information received from the PPM encoder to each of the respective engine or motors. Now what the flight controller is needed is the receiver can only say thrust or yaw or turn left, turn right. The flight controller then does the math needed to make sure each motor spins at the certain speed it, it needs to make the motor fly in the direction needed. So for example, if you want to speed up, receiver receives instructions to speed up, PPM encoder puts it in one signal, sends it to the flight control, Flight control tells the front two motors to spin slower than the back two, back two to speed up, then the quadcopter moves forward. So the flight controller handles all that. And yeah, so that's that's the main purpose of the flight controller is to do the math that the pilot can't, you know, basically instantaneously so your quadcopter can fly. Um, this is essential for flying a quadcopter. Without it, you would not have you wouldn't have any stable stable flight you wouldn't be able to keep up with with you know the engines and motors spinning out of control and stuff like that so once the flight controller sends a signal to the motor there is an esc 
the ESC is the electronic speed control. And that just basically can make sure, like ensures that the motors aren't spinning faster than they're capable of. They're not taking more voltage than they're capable of. It basically protects the motors and makes sure and ensures that the motors aren't you going, you know, going above what they're capable of doing. So just built-in safety feature for the motors. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, yeah, just a quick, easy diagram. Good assignment. Um, also, love your videos, Duke. They're super funny, very engaging. Appreciate it.